Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a quick video because I was meant to do it earlier. But I've been to this group with my sport worker. It went alright until someone mentioned something and it just kind of triggered me a little bit and I just can't stop crying. People say it's just a pet, it's just a cat and oh, it's not just a cat. A cat was my baby, no, my best friend. He got me through a lot of my mental health problems. And today I just can't, I can't stop thinking about him. And I just can't seem to get over losing him. It's not fair, is it? I know people, they're born and then they die. And you know, and it's the same for animals. You, no, nothing's forever and stuff like that, but come on. I don't know, this is the first ever animal I can't have ever lost that I've actually felt connected to. And I'm finding it hard. And the doctors are annoying me because they're not contacting me. So now I've got no medication for the weekend. And my test results are playing on my mind or constantly so now I'm and then this part work is like well, you need to remember to take your medication because this is why you're on low mood all the time well look at me I'm piling the weight on I don't want to be taking them all the time I know I need to because it's like a 50 50 50 percent it helps me sleep and it helps my mood so yeah it does and ills the voices. The other fifty percent, I look like an umpalumpa. I'm putting a lot of weight on, and that's this is the second medication that I've tried, and it's made me gain weight. So I'm on quetiapine, and I don't. I feel like I'm relying on it just for sleep, but then it's piling the weight on. I just can't win. So I didn't take it last night, so I think this is why. <coughs> Hi guys, so I'm back a little bit now. Stop blubbering. Just uh, start the kids' dinner out and look a bit of a mess today. Tom's got his music on at the minute. Dogs. What's the what's with first? Livy's not for me because I've made her some turkey dinosaur things. Well, there's only one. And waffles, that's a favourite. Well, it's in the mood. The dog's wrecked my sofa because it's chasing a polywash. Um, so, yeah, so I went to this appointment today with my sport worker, and it's like a group thing where you meet friends. And, sorry, that's all here. Um, where you make friends and you do like all kinds, you could do different activities each week and you can make things. In fact, my work made something but then she said, no, you can have it. So she made this little book thing. Sorry, the sun keeps beating in my eyes. Let me just try and put you against something. So yeah, so she made this little book. But you're not allowed to, you know, and then she sewed that in. And then the lady there wrote, every day may not be good, but they have some things good in every day. So she put a few quotes in. So she basically made a book, turn the pain into power. So she put that there. And then I told her to get a bit of curvy, creative, but obviously I'm not that great. That's because we've got talking about my cat that passed away. So yeah, it's just basically made like a little book thing. And she goes, just write something positive in it every day. I'm like, like what? Because at the minute I can't I'm thinking positive. Let me just sort this owl music out. I don't, oh, I don't know how to sort this phone out. The Xbox out. So yeah, so I did, we did that and I did some chlorine in. Yeah, well, my first visit, it's, I'm not great around, like, new people. I kind of get nervous and, you know, 
and then obviously on the way home I'm getting the third degree about take your medication you'll feel better I said yeah but it's making pile away on and blah 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 and stuff so yeah but I can't take my meds because the doctor's not ringing me and I've got none to get me other the weekend I tried to get an appointment this morning, but none available. And I never even thought to say, can you get the doctor to ring? Well, in fact, I did get the, ask the doctor to ring me, but I'm still waiting. But that's not happening now, is it? Because it's after six o'clock. Um, the weather doesn't know what it's doing. You don't weather it. We stop giving me dead eyes, Olivia. Go and eat your waffles. Do you know those what, uh, frozen... Uh, who makes them? Potato waffles, you can actually put them in toaster. So yeah, I did that in toaster a bit because it's like five minutes on each, uh, each side. Kept turning them around so they were fully cooked. I didn't realise that because I bought them um, before the cooker. I had issues with the cooker and surprise, so that's what I did. And then in the hair fry, it's not that big, so I can only cook like little bits at a time but then it cooks extra fast let me move because that sun is driving me nuts um we do doing you silly sausage sorry that's olivia in the kitchen acting silly that's revolting why do kids feel the need to do that olivia that's just revolting please don't do that it's disgusting Chew your food. Don't do that, you dick. So, I need a drink. Well, you can go and grab. Sorry, I'm just trying to pour all of you a drink because why do kids do that when they're messing about? They have to chew the food and then show you it. Dee -dee -dee. That's the only thing about Dr. Pepper is it froths up really quick. So you sat there hit for ages. Right, you'll have to do with that for now. Well, if you don't, that's revolting. Can you please go away, you dirty girl? <laughs> Look, you're going to choke on it. Makes my tummy churn. Go away. So, yeah, I need to hide in my bedroom. Um, I've been looking for them all over because I've got a bit of a headache. Um, so, next week, I was supposed to be seeing my, my CPN community mental health nurse but obviously it's on the day that I've got um, therapy with Stuart and Olivia so I kind of like double booked but so she's going to ring me instead and I'm like could have done really I like to go and talk to her because I right Olivia can you pack that in please I like to go and talk because it gets I think people can see What's this rubbish from the GPs? Um, I think that you can see what a true, someone is actually really like. You know, like most, if you're emotional. And I'm quite an emotional person, me, if I get something in me. me um, well, it's not my fault. It's part of my condition. I have the medication that I forgot about in previous. But the prescriptions, but I what's it me doing? My medication's been upped, so I can't really use that one again until the doctors saw so my drawers, <laughs> the underwear drawer that I'm leaning you on. It's full of half empty boxes, and I should really take them, but. I got a bit emotional today with my CPM, not my CPM, support, support worker, because, like, I get, I get it, I think I've already spoke to you about this, I can't remember, 50% it helps, just basically with sleep and the voices that I hear sometimes, if I'm really back with my VP, EUPD, I hear that diagnosis, because I feel like people judge you. You know what I mean? You get judged. Ooh, what's that? I thought it was a spider. 
I've been taking them for a few weeks. That's probably why I've been, well, my antidepressant I have been taking, so I've got to hide them in case. I always get paranoid that the doctors are all going to come to my house and. Whoops, it is, it? Sorry about that. Um, right, Louis, can you go away, please, and try to talk? I get a bit paranoid that the doctors are going to turn up. Do you like that rubbish? They're sticking my hands into the unknown there. So, yeah. One second, guys. So, I'm, I'm starting to get feet. I'm feeling a bit. Good in me. Don't know what it is today. I just, just won't listen to me. In bed, I don't want. Like I said, I get a bit paranoid. Look, because half of me. And where the heck does this dog hair come from as well? It's like major dog hair. It's my lands up as well. The sweet wrappers where they got. That's Olivia. That is. Oh my goodness. I've got like stuff up down back out, you know what? Your bed. Of course, I've not been looking after myself this past week. And like I said to my worker today, I said, it's not helping that the doctors are not ringing me to explain my broad work because now I'm getting paranoid. Paranoid anyway, I feel rough. But I'm super extra paranoid because I think that something's seriously long, wrong. It's probably not because they'll have probably ran me ASAP if there was. But in my mind, where the way my head works, it's yeah, you need to be. Why the. Millie, can you stop threading your hair? <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm at that stage where I'm sick of. You know, everything's just getting to me. I'm getting. To a point where I've had enough, and the house is a mess. I'm trying my best, and it's like no one is helping me either. I've got piles of hiding to do, I've got that to do, that to do. I've got hard on Olivia's stomach care. The kittens are whining, driving me nuts. I can hear them crying, and I've had to put them in another room whilst Olivia eats the tea because they're a little. Piggies, you know what I mean? Oh, I've seen a bar of chocolate and it's winking at me over there. I forgot about that. So, yeah, it's everything. And. <laughs> oh, Millie, what do you want? Even dogs come for a cuddle. Oh, sorry. But yeah, that's it really guys. I don't think I'll get into it anymore. I'm just being a bit not myself to do it today and I'll probably end up ringing first response a bit later on because I'm getting those dark thoughts in my mind and I don't like it and that's why I like to ring them to get it off, well, to get it off my chest. Sorry, I thought there were, there were hair on my head. Dog hair. Um, but yeah. They don't always help, but it, it just to let them know that I'm struggling and stuff like that. But I might go for a walk later and ring them because I've been in the house all the time. And the kids hearing it, it's not nice, is it? Having your mum feeling a bit <coughs> on edge. So, so anyway, they, they tend to be in the rooms when I, I'm on phone calls or I too tend to go for a walk. Olivia now is probably sulky because um, she's eating her food and she's wanting more. Something different to what I've made her. She's eating the waffles, but not the, the other things that I made. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry it's going to be a short one, but it is what it is, isn't it? And I'll probably catch up with you over tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll probably maybe Monday, because I think I might take a few days off just to get my head sorted. And this, hopefully, this flat. And over to get some sleep, because I'm absolutely shattered. And I can see a scratch on my glasses, or is it a hair? <laughs> Dog hair, why does it get everything work? Anyway, I'll catch up with you later. Have a good weekend and see you later. Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a quick video because I was meant to do it earlier. But I've been to this group with my sport worker went all right until someone mentioned something and it just kind of triggered me a little bit and 
I just can't stop crying. People say it's just a pet, it's just a cat, and oh, it's not just a cat. It's not a cat or my baby, no, my best friend. He got me through a lot of my mental health problems. And today I just can't, I can't stop thinking about him, and I just can't get over losing him. It's not fair, is it? I know people, they're born and then they die, and you know, and it's the same for animals. You, they, no, nothing's forever and stuff like that, but come on. I don't know, this is the first ever animal I can't, I've ever lost that I've actually felt connected to, and I'm finding it hard. And the doctors are annoying me because they're not contacting me. So now I've got no medication for the weekend. And my test results are playing on my mind or constantly. So now I'm... And then the support work is like, well, you need to remember to take your medication because this is why you're on low mood all the time. Well, look at me. I'm piling the weight on. I don't want to be taking them all the time. I know I need to because it's like a 50-50, 50% it helps me sleep and it helps my mood, so yeah it does, and it heals the voices. The other 50% I look like an umpa I'm putting a lot of weight on, and that's, this is the second medication that I've tried and it's made me gain weight, so I'm on quetiapine and I don't I feel like I'm relying on it just for sleep, but then it's piling the weight on. I just can't win. So I didn't take it last night, so I think this is why. 